Okay, guys, we're back inside Helldivers 2, and boy, oh boy, you think you can't get any worse, it bloody well has. You PlayStation players are definitely going to feel my pain here, as I'm not able to actually play on my account right now. PlayStation is being broken with the latest update, and we'll get into that in a second, as well as we're going to have some talk about the in-game engine that they've been currently using, and another nerf coming to a stratagem in your realm very soon. As well, Sham Jorjan is taken to the internet again. I bet this guy can not wait for Twinbid to return. Bloody hell, he's messing things up left, right and centre. Nonetheless, let's have a look and see what it is that's going on right now. If you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. On top of that, check out our sponsor, Instant Gaming, the platform where you can buy your video games cheaper for PC and consoles. With the best deals, offers, promotions and discounts, it'll get you all the way up to 70% off. It's an absolute no-brainer and they've got brand new games on there such as Wukong and more. Make sure you go and check it out. Link in the description. Get your games a little cheaper today. That being said, let's dive into the game and see what's happening. So, what I want you to do throughout the entirety of this video is pay attention to the background game play this thing is an absolute bloody shambles i've been playing on playstation 5 since launch i've not really had many issues per se bar the odd bug glitch so on and so forth but this one is a whole new realm this one right here keeps crashing me in the middle of games and then in the middle of games once you've crashed i obviously restart the game and then i just enter into a black flicking screen rinse and repeat that and that just continues to happen Eventually, I managed to get back in, and lo and behold, it then happens again in the next operation that I'm actually doing. It's been a bit of a nightmare. Uh, we had a bit enough time today to manage to get one full operation done in a live stream. Other than that, it's been an absolute nightmare. So, yeah. Let me know if you guys are experiencing that one as well, but this one is a really frustrating one that I only know is on PlayStation as of so far. Next up, though, there is a load of things that need changing and a load of issues that are coming from the game itself, not only with the nerfs in toll, but why could that be happening? Well, actually, we had some talks going on on Twitter from Andy Touch talking about the engine that it is that Helldivers 2 uses. This may be part of the problem, but it states, hold up, Helldivers 2 was made with Autodesk's Stingray engine. Stingray was discontinued in 2018, that's six years ago now, which means that nobody is working on it. Now, obviously, you can still generate some good games on it. It obviously started the development with this engine, but when you've got things such as Unreal Engine right there for exactly these sorts of games, it seems like a little bit of a risky move to continue doing. I really don't understand it, and I'm not too sure why they continued that, considering it went discontinued six years ago. This is a risky one indeed, and could be something that could test the tail of time when it comes to how divers are going forward but something that is definitely going to test the tail of time with how divers going forward is yet another nerf to another stratagem and what am i talking about you may be asking well actually it was right in front of our eyes the entire time we just didn't really notice it you can see right here it states guard dog rover does not overheat when firing continuously this is a known issue that they are looking to fix i don't know what to say i've been using the guard dog rover for a very very long time and i've never known it to be really overpowered too much of an issue really absolutely anything we've just started using it again just recently because obviously flamethrowers are obviously not so much in the mix so the new war bond isn't too bloody useful for me but lasers are now catching things on fire so it seems to be worth using a little bit more which is why we're trying to use the sickle and stuff like that which is apparently having the same effect which will more than likely end up getting nerfed as well as i'm not too sure that's that meant to happen with the sickle so we could be seeing some more nerfs coming to the table. I would love to state that they're not stupid enough to do it, but with it being in the known issues, it's likely that we'll have some more stratagems taking a nerf very soon. And while I did obviously miss that part, one thing that we didn't miss but did kind of word wrong to you guys was the 60-day window. Now, obviously, they stated that the 60-day window is something that they want to have all their stuff done by, but Shams Rojani tweeted out, for clarity, we will absolutely be dropping updates to the game throughout the 60 day window and beyond now this led to a very very hard to read conversation but one that did get some likes in toll and it states i've never been so disappointed in a game or company as i have with hell divers 2 and arrowhead game studios the game was so great when it came out that i went and upgraded my ps4 for a ps5 bought playstation plus just to play this game and then everything started getting nerfed until it was no fun anymore and shams responded with a really really 
really pleading tweet that I just think is just not worth putting out, man. It looks too desperate. But he stated, super sorry to hear that. Can I ask you check in with the game once in a while and see if the game has changed to your liking? Just don't respond, shams. Just don't, just don't respond. It's so much easier than having to deal with these sorts of things. I think that it's something that Sham Shoshani is obviously trying to cover a hole at the moment. And I think that this is not his fault and it's not something that we should really slate him for. I think that he doesn't know enough about the game. He doesn't know enough about the development. He doesn't know enough about what's going on inside of the company. Probably needs to shape himself up a little bit about that. But from what we're seeing... There are a lot of people off on holiday right now. A lot, a lot of people. And he's evidently trying to fill up a lot of roles that are probably not roles that he would normally be filling. It's just the way it is kind of gone, unfortunately. Well, Twinbeard is back within the next couple of weeks. And hopefully, Shams can take a bit of a back seat and actually take some of the heat off of him for once. Because, boy, this guy has been on fire just recently. Nonetheless... He goes in to state that we want to see impact full progress in 60 days. If I ask all of you feel the game is better in October than in August, I hope the majority say yes. We won't be done then. The work will continue, but we need continuous improvement. And he is absolutely right. And that seems to be something that we are all in agreement with. But there are a lot of questions that we also do really want answered, which actually Lewis Lobo asked this one perfectly. The response was actually quite intriguing to see what it is that it's going to be. But Lewis Lobo states, Sham Zhuzhani, hi, this is probably my first time trying to ping someone, someone of the staff, if I remember well. First of all, thank you for your work. Really enjoying the game, being this my very first game on this genre. I have read the last announcement a few times now and everything sounds good but i have a question about the line our intention is that that balance should be fun not balanced for the sake of balance i feel like the word balance and fun have total different meanings for the players and the devs could you be more clear what's the vision f that the studio has about the two concepts what's the expectation of the balance in the game and how the studio thinks players should have fun in the game on this player's side, I can say that balance is what every gun is good and has a specific use. One gun feels good and 33% of the players use it. It means that the other guns should rise to that level, not that the good one should be pushed down to the level of the others to push down the next one on the list. Fun for a player means I can get into a power fantasy and where even if it is hard, I can be a soldier that gets the mission done with tons of tools and by hard means the enemy is hard to kill. Has numbers on the sides of other words. They have the advantage of numbers and terrain. We have the advantage of firepower. But after every update, we feel like our only advantage is getting weaker and weaker. That's what makes me think that the disconnection about what the players want and the devs want comes from we don't have the same definition of that balance and fun. Now, obviously, this guy was writing this one up in quite a flaffle, so some of those words were actually quite jumbled up. But I think we all understand the main consensus of what it is that he's trying to get to, and he's actually nailed that. Sham Jani responded with, I mean, fundamentally, the only way to do it is to make st stuff people like it's going to be different things for different people not every update will have everything for everyone but over time we go from strength to strength like no man's sky floundered initially but put their head in a grindstone and just made good update after good update he won't answer the actual question to this, mainly because what he stated was that he wants a creative director, game director, and designers to answer that, as it is a good question, and he's right. Although, I think that fundamentally, it's going to be a bit of a difficult one. I think that what we need to stop doing, as the development team, is trying to look at individual messages and please absolutely everybody. What we need to do is just make the game enjoyable. Give it that power fantasy that players are wanting. The power fantasy that you promised on the back of the box because it's literally there in the hard copy of the game that you guys will use overpowered weapons they don't exist so this is a bit of a difficult one i think that realistically we just need to make it a little bit stronger and make players a little bit more enjoyable in that power fantasy rather than trying to focus so heavily on well these weapons are exactly as they would be in real life 
Like, you can do that and make them fun at the same time, dude. You can do that and make them fun at the same time. Let me know your opinions on everything we've covered today, but it's been a really, really dingy week for Helldivers 2, and it's something that I'm really, really struggling with because I want this game to do so freaking well, you've got no idea. But unfortunately, right now, the only news that we've got for you guys is of the negative sorts. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the clouds.